This drink video is brought to you by the American Bartender School, where in two weeks you could be trained and ready to work as a bartender. For more information, call 800-532-9222. In this video bartending lesson, I want to go over some of the basics of bartending equipment that you want to have for your home bar. The first thing that I want to show you is a couple of different types of uh, measuring tools. And you want to use measuring tools whenever you make a drink. This way your drink will come out perfectly each and every time. Now the two most popular is a shot glass and a jigger. A shot glass is just like this. They come in little different sizes and shapes. So be sure you know what size you're using. The other thing that uh, you can use is this cone device, which is called a jigger. And there's two measuring sizes on it. The uh, smaller size is a half ounce on this jigger. I'm sorry, it's one ounce. And on the other side, it's one and a half ounces. So if your drink calls for an ounce of something, you would use the small size. And if it used the uh, large size for something, that would be an ounce and a half. Now these jiggers do come in various sizes. And they are always engraved with the measurement on the outside of it. So be sure you check it out when you buy it. Now the next thing that I want to show you is a Boston shaker and it comes in two parts. We have a stainless steel metal cup and we have a glass cup like so. And you want to use this for shaking any of your drinks that usually use fruit juice or any ingredients that are sweet and sugary. And the idea is, is by shaking it you'll mix all the ingredients thoroughly up so you'll have a consistent flavored drink. Now. What we want to use with our Boston mixing set is a uh, strainer and we use the strainer to strain the ingredients in our glass because whenever we shake something it usually has ice in it so we usually want to pre-chill the drink. Now this is just a couple of examples of a couple of different size shakers. Welcome to this video bartending lesson. What I briefly want to go over in this lesson is the bartending tools and equipment that you want to have for your home bar. Now the first thing that I want to go over is a couple of uh, measuring implements that you'd, use, that you'd have for your home bar. And there's two types. First of all, there's the shot glass. And these shot glasses come in various sizes. They go from anywhere from probably three quarters of an ounce to an ounce and a half. So whenever you buy measuring implements, be sure you know what size you're using because when you start making the drinks, if it calls for an ounce, you want to make sure that you have an ounce shot glass. The other type of implement is what we call a jigger. It's cone shaped. There's two sizes on it. One size, this particular jigger, has one ounce and the larger size have, has an ounce and a half. Now remember, jiggers come in various sizes. They're usually engraved on the outside, so if you're not sure, always look and you'll see the measurement. The next thing that you want to be have for your home bar is some type of shaker kit. Now I have three different size shaker kits, shaker kits here. This is the one that you'll see a lot of professional bartenders use. This is called a Boston shaker and it consists of two parts, stainless steel uh, metal cup and a glass cup. And it just goes together like so and then you would shake up your ingredients. The other type is a three part shaker kit. One part is for measuring your ingredients. The other part is a strainer cap that just comes off. I don't really like these because they're kind of hard to work with and when you put ice in here and ingredients in here it kind of chills up and it's hard to go but you see this already has the strainer right there. And the third type is just a uh, shaking cup for a single drink. It's three parts also. Measuring part, I'm not sure what size this is. Cap that comes off with the strainer and the third part is where your ingredients would go. Now if you want to know how to use these uh, particular shaking cups, you can go to one of our video lessons that explains in detail. Now other ingredients that, uh, other equipment that you would have is a uh, strainer. This is for straining our ingredients into our glass with our Boston shaker. And what the strainer does, it allows our drink to be poured into our glass and without our ice going into it. Something else that we have here is what we call a bar spoon. This is a long spoon and when we're stirring drinks we would put our ice in there, our ingredients in there and stir it up or we could reverse it like so which you'll see a lot of bartenders do and this is how we use our bar spoon. And this is for stirring our ingredients up. 
Now the other thing that we would use is a uh, muddler. This is like a small baseball bat. And we use this for mashing up like fruits or uh, mint leaves for uh, mojitos or limes for uh, caprinas. And all it does is it mashes up everything to get the essence of the flavor of whatever you're mashing up. The other thing that we would want to have is a pour. And we put this on the top of our bottles. And the idea of a pour like this is it's much easier to regulate the amount of liquor that goes in from your bottle when you're using a measuring instrument. And the last thing that you want to have is some type of wine opener so you can open up a bottle of wine. There are many different types of wine openers. This is just kind of a simple one. just goes into your cork and you just pull it out like so, put it down like so. So these are the basic instruments that you would want to have for your bar. The last thing that I find useful to have for your bar are these little straws. They're called uh, sip sticks. You just put a couple in a drink. Well, we, can't, we don't have the right type of glass here. And it allows somebody to slowly sip up the drink. Sip sticks. Always useful for your drinks and something like that. Become a bartender in only one week. Call 800-532-9222. Call now. 800-532-9222.